he had a different look. He was doing a different genre. <laughs> I'm talking about Kenneth B. What's up? I'm good, man. It's a pleasure to have you up at Tena on the East Side Kid. I'm more than happy about this, man. Mm. Yeah, because this is a very great opportunity for my growth, for yes. everyone's growth. And in your channel, I will support my youth. So I'm proud to be here. I'm happy to be here. And it's a pleasure to have you. You know, the thing is, uh, a lot has happened. Yeah. <laughs> Since the last time you were here. Yeah, from here to... to uh, you yeah. had the dreadlocks that were reaching, like, you know, all the way here. Yeah. And you were doing spoken word. But now you're here with a new song. And I said, okay, and you're rapping on it. Yeah. Tell us about all this transition that has occurred over the past few years. Uh, a growth has, it shades. You have really to shade some few things in life if you really have to grow. Like a tree, a cow in a grow, it has to, some trunks and branches have to, be, the branches have to be taken away for it to get a mature, taller. a taller growth, a, yeah. a wider look, a beautiful look out there. Mm. So, so I really... to trim a few things. Yeah, yeah, cause everything has uh, life in it. So I, as a human being, I really have to check where I'm not fitting properly mm. and the avenues I really love walking through. If something is hindering me from walking that avenue the way, way I want it, I should be open enough and quick enough to adjust changes to my life so that I really penetrate at that speed, you know. Mm. Yeah, man. But I bet it wasn't an easy decision because, you know, having such long locks, you know, when it the, took uh, a while to grow them, yeah? Yes, it, it wasn't an easy decision even because even the barber, I went to the barber shop mm. to get me shaved, refused. Said like, no, Ken, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Unataka kuniroga. Nikamambia, no, but it's my decision. No, easy see locks are kunyo. Uh. Nikamambia, no, it's time. Like you were talking about when you were at what age should you settle in life? Yeah. Uh, that was my the age of my dreadlocks to settle away from me. So mm. I had to change the vision, the vision, the look, and everything. Mm. Yes. And, and then there's the new poster. Uh, the last time you were here, we never had an opportunity to talk about the new poster at uh, Kenya National Theatre. Ah. And the good job you're doing with the youth. Ah, this has been... Uh, I've served at the Kenya Cultural Center for like uh, five, six, seven years yeah. as the talent development officer. Okay. And uh, even when I had my dreadlocks, mm. I was still an officer there. Yeah. But then I had to change that just quick enough so that, you know, the system is system. The system uh, is system. System is system. Mm. And uh, mm. in my heart, I'm but that, full, up, I'm, I'm that full hundred rasta, you know, mm. not just the looks, but I'm a, the talent development officer. I work with a lot of youths. We still run Pal Poet after lunch, which happens every Thursday of the week at the Kenya Cultural Center. Mm. A main auditorium outside wherever we choose when bookings are not that heavy. Mm. So, yes, it's a work I enjoy so much because my kids also are within that channel. So when I have a platform to raise people, raise kids, mm. my kids are the first one on the front line. If it's a bad uh, drive I'm doing, then they'll be sacrificed first. Mm. And that is when you are a real warrior. So you're basically just leading by example. You have to. You have no choice. If you're doing a good thing, set your family first. Mm. Yeah, and if it's a bad thing, who pan you? Speaking of your kids, LOX was here. Uh, initially was the rapper. Mm -hmm. Now he's the spoken word artist. Yeah. So it's like you guys did a switch. Uh, uh, I think <laughs> <laughs> I think for LOX, uh, it came so much of spoken word because of his new post at uh, Lenga Ugaidi in the initiative, which or he's serving as an ambassador. Mm. So he did a spoken word poetry that one and gave him a few things here and there and he's still moving with them. So I think he's concentrating so much on that. And then again, he loves writing. Mm. So I give him the opportunity. Ah, you do that. Do you? I also twist and take And you it went back. to rapping now. I take it back to the count of words with a beat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that transition as well, in terms of music now, uh, spoken word art and uh, rapping. Uh, what's the big difference uh, so far in terms of, you know, expressing yourself? Because you're very expressive even the, with the way you use your words. Uh, I think there is uh, no huge gap between spoken word poetry and it's just the beat. It's just and, you the know, beat. Uh, spoken word is a little bit vast because you can now just talk without limiting yourself to the count of the beat, like the bass and everything. But mm -hmm. with spoken word, now you have to, with poetry, rap, hip-hop, mm -hmm. with hip-hop and rap, you have to keep it to the beat. Mm. Like if if there are four bars, if there are eight and eight bar mm. thing verse, you really have to respect all that. So I really wanted to. So there's more rules in hip hop. There is more rule in rap in mm. music generally. Mm. There is more rule. You can't just talk like you are talking in spoken word, because mm. uh, the producer will tell you 
ah, baba, apa, you have to remove a few words. But in spoken word, those are the words that make the whole item becomes juicy and cool. Mm. So here, you really have to pick on the best mm. to fit in that verse so that it comes out, it's executed like it's supposed to be. Like I said earlier, a lot of young uh, people look up to you, especially, you know, the people who come for poetry after lunch every Thursday at the Kenya National Theatre. Mm. Now that you've made that transition to, you know, rap, mm -hmm. uh, what's been the reception? Very good. Uh, you know, one, when you're chilling, uh, you plant the garden, step aside, you don't stand in the garden watching them grow, watching mm. maize, ama beans or whatever grow. You plant, go step aside, come back, weed, then go, wait for the rain to come. That is how you work. I can't stand in the garden with them because rap was my original uh, art when I started even in the industry. Mm. Yeah. It wasn't spoken word art? No, 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 no. I started doing rap in Kijaluo. Mm. Uh, keep it locked. Kidogo those days. And then uh, I came to the spoken word industry to help uh, this industry realize its value. And now I have beautiful poets out there, Akina Griffins, Akina Falamjanja, Akina Kunimbichi, I, Akina Locks. I have very, very, very beautiful poets, mm. girls out there, Akina Nin. I have very good poets. So why don't I also help this industry that is a little bit... Mm. Uh, uh, still growing. Uh, yeah, po uh, rap is still growing. Mm. Uh, and we really have to transport our poetry, spoken word, to the um, music line so that we fuse it well with the beats mm. so that a lot of the rappers out there, a lot of our rappers out there get to know that it's word. Mm. Word has to be there on that instrumental to make it a driving force. Mm. Yes. Basically, uh, you want them to be able to express themselves even more. Is it going to dry? Is it quite, just uh, music for the sake of music? It's about your look, Speaking of that, uh, uh, there's this uh, gangeton mm -hmm. that's flooding our music industry at the moment. Mm. Uh, what do you think about it in terms of content? Uh, no. I think uh, uh, in, in, I don't think I should even talk about that. But then, because <laughs> <laughs> I know what to hear, and I want to be express Mm. And uh, I think if it's given, giving the money, yes, it's good. But that one is an inside the ballroom thing that should not be out there. And, you know, uh, I know it's flooding the streets. People are liking it because there is nothing great they can enjoy. Mm. So when there is nothing you can lean on, you lean on what is there. So we want to give them an alternative to lean on because we have it mm. and we believe. You, you didn't want to answer, but I think you did in your own way. <laughs> I, yeah, I told you, no, I, I rank it, I don't know, easy mm. must be, or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. those, but man, uh, how, how would I, man, mm. uh, <laughs> I serve another uh, majesty, uh, yeah. Nice, 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 uh, uh, poetry after lunch, it's been growing and growing and growing, yeah. and uh, let's talk about that before we get back to the music, mm -hmm. um, in different counties now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, how do you coordinate all of them? You know, we have a... Uh, uh, great spoken word that is first of all you have to spot mm. see the right person who can work on the ground mm. with you you don't just go and uh, give it to anybody you it must be a spoken word poet who is who has deep uh, a deep heart that can accommodate all that so those are the guys i look for and then when we go they set the ground ready and then when we go we launch it and now we coordinate because uh, there are a lot of spoken word um, fans out there or rather who want to do spoken word young spoken word artists who are coming out there so once we start it at the county level it serves them because mm -hmm. we we used to find a lot of youth traveling from the counties to come to nairobi every thursday and we really wanted to make them comfortable through having the same platform in their regions uh, and that's why we really uh, try to relocate Kisumu. We have our uh, people doing it there. Embu, we have our youths doing it there. Uh, Busia, we have uh, Olovita Edwin system, Edu systems doing it there with the youth there. So we we have a lot of people running things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I really find joy in that because they they don't have the they don't get the hectic hectic time of traveling to Nairobi just to do this to follow this. Because art is everywhere. Art is in the mountain, down the valleys, in the rivers, oceans. Backyard, mm. it's everywhere. So you can't just run to a place that you happen to your kunoma. No, art is everywhere. Uh, there's the Lenga Ugaidi Natalanta competition mm -hmm. that you're involved in, mm. and uh, I was wondering, 
Uh, since uh, now it's you know not no longer local, just in Nairobi, mm -hmm. uh, poetry after lunch. Mm -hmm. Will there be such competitions now in, in the county level, just for poetry? Yes, yes, uh, and uh, I'm I'm in charge of that. In fact, uh, Gish Kevin of Lengo Gaidi gave me that work, and uh, I think I'm proud to handle it so well. So I'll be working with artists to just to get them. Uh, extract the right intellectual content from their brain so that we really model good content for fighting terrorism. Mm. And that's why I'm here. So we'll be fetching poets, we'll be talking to poets, in networking with poets all around the country just to get the real rich content that can really serve this purpose so well when brought to media and when published internationally and internationally. Mm. Yes. Okay, back to the music. The yes, new track. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing uh, this correctly. Anna Semoke. Yeah. Uh, Anna Semoke. Anna, Anna Semoke. Anna Semoke. Anna Semoke. Yeah, and when I join, yeah, we call Anna Semoke, man. Uh, can you say Anna Semoke? Anna Semoke. I don't know what she did right there, but I don't that like is, it. That is magic now. <laughs> that is like magical. <laughs> that, yeah, that is what luck now. That is what now fans <laughs> should sing along when I say Anna Semoke. What sing. does it mean? Nisha Iwasha. Nisha Iwasha. Yani kwa bado mnachelewa huko mnaogopa, mimi mm. nishachafua yani nisha Iwasha. Nisha Iwasha. Eh yani yeah, it's that what I've started it already. Ka mm. unajua kuna the thing is um, the mentality is there are uh, some people you want to do a project with some people but most people are always afraid to start. Eh? Even in business investing. Sasa wewe una imoko tu haraka haraka. Ndio watu wa uko example. Ana simuke. Ka kuna kitu you have to stop from happening. You lead, it's like a, a, a ringleader's anthem. And I say, I'm okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, you yeah. brought the producer here. Yeah. And uh, I'm curious about, you know, his thoughts uh, working with you because I can tell it looked uh, quite fun. Uh, if we can have a minute with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As it comes, uh, tell me about that experience of finally rapping on a track. I, you know, uh, I, we, 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 I work with two producers. Mm -hmm. uh, both of them do videos and uh, audios. Mm -hmm. So when I went to the studio, uh, my guy is here. So when I went to the studio, yeah. uh, our studio at Satellite Daudi Productions, yeah. uh, Truck Lab, mm. Devi listened to me because we had not worked for quite a long time. And he told me, Ken, there is something in you I used to know before and we want to extract it. Mm. And then uh, my videographer was not there. Mm. Then we sat down with Daudi and did the track. And then he told me, Ken, can we now get a sweet chorus for this? Mm. He told me, ah, Ken, si ume, si washe. Nika sema, ah, unataka ni washe mapema hivi. Yeah. Ah, we do ana moke. Haba si ana semo ke. Ah. And then we did the track. Yeah, yeah. You want to learn this? Yeah, yeah. So he told me, go to the booth, we washe. So when yeah. we did that, uh, I, I now talk to my, mm. my other producer, who is Cyrus, who is here. Mm. Uh, who is our, my videographer and also the, uh, another audio producer, who mm. did Yawe Laragi Satan, if you remember that song. Mm -hmm. And uh, he told me, Ken, this is huge. This is big. Let's do a quick video for this. Mm. Then we were, we found ourselves in Mombasa and we did our thing. And here we are. Mm. Yes. Nice. Uh, Devi? Yes. Cyrus. 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 Yeah. Uh, tell me about working with Kenneth B, first of all. Uh, working with Kenneth B has been uh, one of my best experiences in production mm. since uh, 2010. Mm -hmm. We have been meeting in studio. Since 2009. Just doing spoken word art? No, no, we never talked. He was recording his, his stuff, I was doing my stuff. Mm. But oh, you never worked together before this? We first talked right? in 2018 okay. from 2009, okay. you can imagine. Mm. Yeah. I was just setting myself fit for him. Mm. I was searching for him for the last 10 years. Mm. Yeah. What, what about this track? Uh, tell me a bit about it. Anasam okay? Yeah. Uh, just uh, That's the how to pronounce audio? it, Anasemoke. Yes. The joy in Jaluo there is Anasemoke. Nakuna Anasemoke. Na vile our DJ Ali sema Anasemoke. So it, it depends. It depends on how you yes. say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the time they were doing it, I, wa I wasn't around. Mm. So I just got the audio. Then all of a sudden, for the video. The story is very interesting. We found ourselves in Mombasa for another stuff. Then we sat and looked the, the area we were in. Then he just said, like, why don't we just shoot this video? Then Ken was like, you didn't carry a camera. So I just told him, like, uh, no camera, no problem. We have to do it. Mm. Yeah. So I how did you record it? 
We did with the phone. With the phone? Yes. Nice, interesting. Yeah. Mm. High That's level how we phone. do it. We just work <laughs> with what we have. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Interesting, interesting. And I think this teaches every, each and every other youth outside there who is struggling to make a, a good thing. There, sh work. there should never be an excuse. There, there shouldn't be an excuse. Uh. Invest in technology. Mm. You kidogo, 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 buy a nice phone, just a powerful phone. It can and you can record your you music in, videos in, right there. Right there, anytime. And Maze Yani, my producer, is one of the greatest guys ever. Cyrus, thank you so much for you know uh, you. coming over to have a chat with us. And can it be? As always, it's always a pleasure. And we love the work you're doing with the youth, especially with the poetry after lunch and the talent development that you're doing at the Kenya National Theatre. Yes. And uh, there's a guy who's here as well. Yeah. Before we conclude, I, I don't know if my producer would allow this, but he has to come and say hello. Mr. Locks. Dakamoza. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Sorry to surprise you like this, but this is Locks. For those, who, those of you who don't know Locks, just come here. And I want you to say hi to the people. Hello, I'm Lox, a.k.a. Liquid Oxygen. Mm, Safi Kabisa. Uh, tell them what you do exactly and give us a sample. Uh, for those who don't know me, I always do poetry, rapping. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. No, nice, nice, nice. Uh, just give us a sample. It's okay, I'll hold it oh. for you. Sometimes I, uh, I sing, I rap, and I always do poetry. Mm. My poetry, I have two, two poetry is called Terrorism and I Am Walking Into My Future. Mm. Yeah, and a song called Happening Now. You can find it on YouTube. Yeah. I like his confidence. Kenneth, you're teaching him well. Uh, where on YouTube exactly? YouTube. Uh, locks mm -hmm. happening now. That's L O X happening now on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. And what do you think about Daddy's song? Anasemoke. Anasemoke is a really good song. Mm. Uh, it's a great video, great re lyrics, and producer Carl did a very good job recording it and. V just putting the video and my dad he also did a good job thinking about that song <laughs> nice <laughs> nice nice <laughs> but you know the fear i have mm. the follower who is a, a girl mm. queen is going to surprise us because she has a new song out there we'll be launching nice nice and i've been anticipating yeah that. Yeah, yeah 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 it's called kuampole kuampole uh, 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 and uh, queen come 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 we so can't leave uh, we can't leave she'll she'll be crying she'll butter us when you're on the road cup just join. Hi, Queen. Hello again. <laughs> Introduce yourself, please. Ha, my name is Queen. <laughs> <laughs> You're the shy one of the family, I can tell. No? <laughs> <laughs> I hear there's a new song coming out. Uh, how soon? What should we expect the new song? Next Saturday. Uh, I can hear locks over here whispering next Saturday. <laughs> so you'll bring it here on the East Circuit, right? Yes. And we'll be able to talk about it and uh, how you came up with the song and the video? Yes. Nice. And the show to watch is the E? It's a cute. It's a cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for coming okay. through. Asante Nisana. Uh, next up is Anasemoke by Kenneth B. Yeah. Produced by Sarah Sasanti Sana. And again, people can still find you on social media at Kenneth B, yeah? Yes, Kenneth Poet B, Facebook uh, at B, Kenneth Instagram, uh, Kenneth underscore B, Twitter. Mm. Uh, Kenya Cultural Center is my office from Monday to Friday. I work. Uh, I'm a very easy guy, man. Tutakuwa hapo, tuta. I'm just that happy um. guy, man. So. Support this song, go to the YouTube, Anasemoke Can It Be. Anasemoke. My channel is Can It Be on YouTube, just search Anasemoke Can It Be. Share and let's have the joy. But then the warning is, I have a hip hop album coming out. So 
people better get ready. So this is just a different direction completely. No, I gave people a lot of chances. Mm. But sana. now, I know All more, my no guy, more. Don't mention them, all those C-pop guys you know. <laughs> just mention them. Uh, they know, they are, and they, they know. Wherever they are, they know. You I'm, heard it here I'm, first on the East Side I'm Kids. coming for my thing. Can it be is coming for whatever <laughs> crown you thought you held? Uh, and this is Anasemoke by Can it be? Yeah, okay. 